Is it a simple thirty-five pound setup, or is it somewhere in between? Go on. How how do you set this thing up, John? It's a very bespoke thing for different people, but there's different levels. A limited company, an accountant can set that up very easily. Uh, it's very quick. A group, a little bit more complex. But the thing is, as soon as you speak to a professional, you don't do anything. You just say yes, please, and it's done for you because you should be spending all of your time on. Your investing, your trading business, your family life. Because the point of using a professional is you don't need to know, you just need to know that they know. Totally. And that's important. Because if you're checking on everything, you'll never be happy. You just need to know that people you are using are the best at what they do, and everybody else uses them, and there's no problems. It's very simple. Yeah. So, yeah, essentially, it's very simple. Did you want to talk about any of yeah, the. Articles, memorandums, sit codes, bank accounts. I mean, it's all pretty straightforward. You just, you just handle. I, mean, the, yeah. I know when I'm mentioning article association memorandums, sit codes, opening up bank accounts. I know that that is something that, and we, we, we're monitoring all the questions. We can't quite see them yet, but keep keep the questions coming in. We've got Q and A. Yeah. Um, I know that they are some of the things on people's minds, and the easy sound would be that's just sorted. It's this sit code. It's done that. It's this. Mm -hmm. That's it. Standard. Um, so we'll answer those really quickly later on. Um, let's touch really, really quickly on moving properties from yeah. a personal <clears throat> name to a partnership so, to an incorporation. So we've, it's something I had to do. Yeah. That's something you've done. Yeah. And we have two uh, two accountants that we introduce clients to. So John will help you get set up as a limited company, do all, manage all your accounts and all of that sort of thing, group structure. And then we have another accountant who specializes in moving portfolios that are in a, a specialist thing. in a personal name yeah. into a partnership. And then yeah. that's not something you really specialize in, is it? Well, John, well, an advisor. An advisor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I think the, the way that it generally works is the accountant who moves, like you were saying, to, to get that whole package set up, it's a big deal. It's a lot of stuff. It's a big deal. It's time consuming. It's time consuming. It's all the time. So John would send you to Ali. Ali would do it back to John and off you go. That, that's the way. But it, it, it's possible. Try and summarize then. If um, clients got so, 10 houses, 10 houses, all so, in his own name, how can you get them into a limited group? Sure. There's a few routes. Uh, the partnership, there's recent case law. It's uh, Ramsey, I believe. Yep. And then what you would say and not say but what the case would be is you can say that it's a business even though the properties are in your own name move them to a partnership and then you would class as a going concern, right? going concern the and word. you'd have to show that there's 20 hours per week being spent on the business essentially it's a real business but it's in your personal name because pre so equivalent to having out. 10 flower shops or something like yeah that sort of thing in, in, in an easy yeah, way yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah and then there's ways to alleviate stamp duty because so now in a partnership, and then further down the line, you could incorporate it into a limited company, and that, then there's no capital gains. That would actually reset your capital gains tax. Mm -hmm. There are people, I, I took advantage of this, it's just a byproduct of doing it. Houses that I bought a long time ago for 20, 30, 40,000 pounds, because that was a long time ago, I'm that old. Um, when we incorporate it, you get a valuation, and they go through on the books of the valuation. So actually, if I sold them the very next day for the new 2000 and what can I do about 16, 17, 18 price, no capital gains tax, which you know, a lot, I, I see landlords doing that, particularly if you bought a lot of London stock and it's got up millions of pounds. Um, <laughs>